Okay, what do we have here? We have this mobile phone with display problem as you can see the screen is just dim, black and there is no image. So I will show you how I troubleshoot this problem and how you can troubleshoot this type of problem. First, when you open a phone with this type of fault, you need to keep in mind that this type of problem is caused by the display I see the display section but it doesn't mean that the problem can just be coming from the display section that is why you have to do the troubleshooting but first you need to observe the PCB before going into the display section as you can see what I'm doing right here it shows that there is water damage in some sections in a mobile PCB as you can see we have some uh, bad sections right here as you can see I'm trying to clean them and these are uh, the, the things that you need to take a look at first then make sure that every section of the mobile phone is clean especially the display connector as you can see right here okay so you see how important it is to to observe the PCB and while following what I'm doing right here for those of you who are not able to get who have not been able to get the schematic diagram softwares you can now download free schematic diagrams from my website but i cannot say that you will need the softwares you will need the softwares but for now you will need the schematic diagrams on my website in which you can download for free so you just have to go to the link in the video description and uh, you will be able to get to my website and download free schematic diagrams and also, if you need the software, the premium schematic diagram software, you can let me know. So, the, the advantage with the, the software is that you will ha always have a guidelines and uh, that will help you troubleshoot easily. But for the schematic diagrams, which are PDF that you can download for free on my website, you will download them and they can actually help you solve problems like this, even in case you already know how to read schematic diagrams. So I have a lot of uh, models, schematic diagram models on my website and uh, I am going to upload, I'm going to upload a, a lot more so you can check, check out the website. So what we are doing right here, we need to, to open the, the backlight section. If you have been watching my videos, you will notice that anytime that I am talking about a water damage mobile phone, I always talk about the backlight section because when it comes to water damage mobile phones the backlight section is always the first to get high damage which is due to the high voltage that the, the backlight section is generating so this is the first place to get uh, high damage when there is water damage in the mobile phone due to the high output voltage in this section as you can see everything is, seems to be burned off right here you see you see what i'm saying right so just by observing the pcb and locating the backlight and the display section as you can see we have the display i see right there all this section is for the display and the backlight section of the mobile phone and uh, judging from how everything looks right here we will normally have burn component right here which we will have to clean the mobile pcb carefully test the, the section very well test all the components if there is any shorting or shorting or full shorting and uh, yeah we will also have to to reball these ic's right here and change the one that we notice that they are damaged so before we do that you have to clean the mobile pcb the way that i'm doing right here the 16 ic that you are looking at right here is the backlight ic the backlight ic and if you are watching this video and you don't know how to identify all these ic's you can actually see videos on this channel that will help you with that if you go to my playlist and if you want to learn how to troubleshoot any type of fault step by step you can always send me a message on whatsapp i have a basic level and a professional level course in which if you complete the two level courses you will be good in troubleshooting and doing uh, reballing micro soldering and uh, troubleshooting any type of fault in a mobile pcb so if you look right here you will see that i'm testing the capacitors especially capacitors there are the the main components that can cause shorting as you can see that capacitor right there is weak that's an example of uh, damage components uh, open circuit 
you understand so i'm checking and also the diode that you see right there it's a high voltage diode it's a bad light ic diode which gets the the, the input in forward mode and the output in backward mode that goes to the display if that diode is bad it can cause a mobile phone not to not to not to show image but in our case right here first the screen was lighting up which which means that the backlight uh, i see is generating the image the 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 light even though it it can still be half light right but the first thing that we need to do in this mobile pcb is to work on the display to get an image before we do anything so i had to remove the display i see which you see right here this is the display i see i had to remove and like you 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 have seen everything everything was uh, really looking bad the ic was looking bad it shows that the water damage entered under the ic and caused a lot of damage right here so we just hope that this is still good the, the component is still good as you can see some pins were damaged and i need to make them clear right here so while cleaning them you can see that there are some things that seem to be joined but we are going to look into that so if i zoom in with a microscope and take a look carefully i will see that these pins are okay even though they are joints right so they are the same pins like they have the same line so that's no problem so i first reball the, the display ic first reball the display ic because yeah like you see this one was clearly damage so if there could be water damage under the ic this particular ic it means that yeah we really need to take a look at the section you see that capacitor you just pulled off so those are the type of things that you need to check if you are pulling it off completely replacing then you will have to do that so i had to mount back the ic and before mounting you you saw actually saw that i was testing to see if the components were okay without the ice so that's very important and after mounting it i have to check the diode reading to see if all the pins are connected so before doing this i had to test the mobile phone and the, the phone could display but was blinking which means that the bag light section has a problem so i had to work on this section also i replaced the coil and the and the backlight IC, 16 backlight IC, just to make sure that everything works perfectly and the, yeah, the phone can last long. I do not want to patch things up. And the, after doing that, I had to replace this other IC, which controls the voltage that goes to the... Which, it's like a passive component for the voltage that goes to the, to the display IC. So I had to remove this and revolve it also because even though there was image the screen was coming and going coming on and going off and uh, after rebelling this one everything was good and the phone was working right here as you can see so if you want schematic diagrams free you can visit my website and uh, message me on whatsapp if you need my calls